Do you know what additional compensation that you can receive on top of the compensation that you're receiving for your service connected condition? And that additional compensation is called special monthly compensation. Today, I'm going to be discussing the VA's definition, some of the requirements, and how you can identify it in the VA's rating schedule. So stand by. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Dwayne Kimball, United States Army veteran. Today I'm bringing another educational video and today I'm going to be discussing the additional compensation that you can receive on top of your regular compensation for your service-connected conditions. And that additional compensation is called special monthly compensation, also known as SMCs. There's several different types of SMCs. I did a video last year where I explained SMCK, SMCS, and SMCL. I'll link that video at the end of this video so you can review it, okay? But today I have a couple of slides I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go over the VA's definition for special monthly compensation, some of the requirements, and how you, the veteran, can identify it in the VA's rating schedule. So let's get into it. Slide number one. Here in slide number one, you can see this is the uh, M21 reference for definition of SMC, also known as special monthly compensation. Now, uh, I did not uh, copy the entire, I think I did for this one, I did copy the entire M21. Now, for some, sometimes, when I post or show M21s, I don't always uh, copy and show the entire M21, okay? So you see the name, so that way you can go out and do your additional research. So VA's definition, special monthly compensation, is an additional level of compensation to veterans above the basic levels of compensation payable based on disability ratings of 0 to 100%. For various types of anatomical losses or levels of impairment due solely to service-connected disabilities. I'm read that part again. Due solely to service-connected disabilities. And below, uh, they, they have some uh, links to uh, some other information like the SMC training guide. You may not be able to um, open that one because it says it's on the intranet, not the internet and then they have a training materials and these are things that VA employees can click on and get additional information if they're trying to service connect uh any veteran for uh an smc then it has the 38 usc and then it has the 38 cfr that covers uh the definitions of the smcs okay so I always start out using the m21 because it's just easier to search and then once you find the topic you have other references, and in this case, you got the 38 USC and the 38 CFR code for federal reg code for federal regulations as it pertains to the SMC, which is 38 CFR 3.350. Okay, so slide number two, and here in slide number two, this is 38 CFR 3.350 that we just saw in the previous slide. Okay, so it says special monthly compensation ratings. Uh, and it goes on to say special monthly compensation under 38 USC, and it gives a USC name, is payable for each anatomical loss or loss of each use of one hand, one foot, both buttocks, one or more creative organs, blindness of one eye having only light perception, deafness of both ears, having absence of air and bone conduction, complete organic aphonia with constant inability to communicate by speech or in the case of a woman veteran loss of 25 percent or more of tissue uh, from a single breast or both breasts in combination okay now there are several smcs and veterans ask me a question hey Dwayne, what is the criteria for smcn what is the criteria for smco half step smc r i do not have all the criteria memorized. There's too many. 
Now, I know where to go and find the criteria, but you, the vet, you can go and find it yourself, okay? So if you feel that you want an SMC, you can go to the M21, start your search there, put in SMCK, SMCL, or whatever, and when you get there, it'll tell you uh, the ones that's highlighted, I have highlighted in red here from 38 CFR 3.350, the criteria for that particular SMC that you may be seeking, okay? Now, moving on, slide number three. And here in slide number three, this is, I took a screenshot of the genitary system in the VA's rating schedule, okay? So now we're going to get into how do you identify an SMC in the rating schedule. So when you get to the genitary system, at the top, there's a note. And what I have highlighted in red, it says footnotes in the schedule indicate conditions which potentially establish entitlement to special monthly compensation. However, there are other conditions in this section which under certain circumstances also establish entitlement to special monthly compensation. Now, when I went to the genitary system, I did not go and take a screenshot of all the diagnostic codes. Now, diagnostic codes or the numbers that you see uh, how, uh, bold in, that's emboldened in black, 7520, 7521, 22, 23, 24, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the diagnostic codes. The right to that is the service-connected condition. Now, when you're in the v, uh, VA's rating schedule and you're trying to identify an SMC, look to the right and you'll see uh, the percentage. Okay, so for diagnostic code 7520, that's a 30%. For that to the left, you see that one and you look down all the way down and it denotes a one. I highlighted it in red. That means the veteran can be entitled to special monthly compensation under SMC K, loss of use of a creative organ. Down below, again, you see that one I highlighted in red for you. It says review for entitlement to special monthly compensation under where? 38 CFR 3.350 three, uh, 3 of this section. I already shared it with you in the previous slide. Okay, so this is the rating schedule for the genitary system. Now, moving on, slide number four. Here in slide number four, this is the gynecological um, VA rating schedule. Okay, and in, in note number two at the top, it states when evaluating any claim involving loss or loss of use of one or more creative organs or anatomical loss of one or both uh, breasts refer to 38 CFR 3.350 of this chapter to, to determine whether the veteran may be entitled to special monthly compensation, okay? So again, we have the uh, diagnostic codes. In this case, we have diagnostic code 7017, seven, I'm sorry, 7617, 7619, 763T, I'm sorry, 7632. Now, when you look to the right, you see the different percentages, 100%, 50%, 100%, 30%, 0, and 0. To the right of that, what do you see? That one, that one represents SMC. Down below, what does it say? Review for entitlement to special monthly compensation under 38 CFR 3.350 of this chapter okay so if you're familiar with the rating schedule when you get there you see that one on the left or right side then you know they're telling the adjudicator hey if you grant this benefit under this diagnostic code look at 38 cfr 3.350 because you may need to assign what an smc okay now I don't think that was a lot of information. Like I said earlier, I have a video where I explain SMCK, SMCS, and SMCL and go over the requirements for those particular ones. Now, there's a lot of SMCs. Again, if you leave me a comment and you ask me, hey, Dwayne, what's the criteria for this SMC? I'm going to tell you, hey, go look it up. You know, a lot of adjudicators, they don't have all these memorized. That's why they have access to the M21 the 38 CFR and the different court cases so they can see when they're adjudicating a the claim, hey, wait a minute, I think 
I may be entitled to grant this SMC for this veteran, let me go on the M21 or 38 CFR and see if that veteran meets that requirement. But you as the veteran, you got to hold yourself accountable and already do that research. So you know when you submit that claim, hey, I'm entitled to an SMC, okay? So with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow veterans. Thank you.